Alright, it's one of those days outside, so I'm going to uh, just come indoors today and talk a little bit about night navigation. I'm going to draw some things up and explain a couple things. And we're going to do this by using the moon and the stars. And I'm going to keep them separate. I'm going to do one video on the moon and one video on the stars. I'll put them up right after each other. But what we're going to do is clarify some things because navigation is one of those subjects that gets pretty difficult for people because a lot of people have a hard time finding north and you hear all this daytime ways to find it which are good but there is sure methods at night as well and if you know you're going to be staying overnight you might as well learn these methods because they're quite simple and that's what we're going to go over is the simple methods we're not going to go into you know in-depth in constellations and such but we are going to talk about the basics so you can see how simple it really is. First off, I want to mention something. The moon is the same as the sun, okay? In the essence that it rises in the east and sets in the west. So you can use all those methods just like you do with the sun when it comes to rising in the east and setting in the west. Now imagine, like I was just telling you, the moon will rise in the east, this is east, and it's going to set in the west, okay? So it's going to do the same thing that the sun does. So right here's midnight. Okay, one method that we can use then, knowing that it rises in the east and sets in the west, is the same method you use with the sun, and that is the stick method. Okay, so you have the moon here. It's casting, it's casting light this way, so you have a stick. Okay, the stick's going to cast a shadow. Okay, so the shadow comes to here. At the end of this, at the end of this shadow here, you're going to place a stone. Okay. Ten minutes later, that shadow is going to be over here. Okay, so you place another stone. So I got to do wait ten minutes. Okay, now this line right here is your east-west line. In the northern hemisphere, it's always going to be east on this side. First stone you place is east, second stone is west. Alright, simple. Okay, to help us out with our direction, we're going to need to understand that the moon goes through phases. Alright, we know we can get direction on a full moon using the shadow stick method. What about when it's a crescent? Okay, there is a way. So first let's look at what the moon is going to do. It's going to go through ten phases through a period of waxing and waning. Alright, waxing is simply increasing, waning is simply decreasing. Alright, so it's going to start out here as a new moon, which is no moon at all. Okay, and then it's going to go to a crescent. Just a sliver of a crescent. Alright, it ain't going to be much. And then it's going to grow a little bit bigger. Alright, and then it's going to go from there to a half moon. And then after a half moon, you're going to get a three-quarter moon. Alright. Now, after the three-quarter moon, you're going to go down here, and you're going to begin the waning process. This right here is your full moon. Okay, and then it's going to go back to a three-quarter moon, but it's going to do something. Now, your three-quarter is here. It's on this side. Okay. And then it's going to go, it's just going to go right down the line. It's going to be a half moon now. Okay? But notice that it's facing this way. Alright, and then after the half moon, you're going to get your crescent. And then you're going to go to this right here, your final stage, which is just that little sliver again. Okay? I apologize, I'm not much of an artist. So, once we get down to this, this is known as a young. This is known as an old. Okay, and then here you have a new. Alright, so new is no moon at all. So no moon. And then you go from young all the way to old. And it's simply facing the opposite direction. Okay, now that's pretty simple, pretty self explanatory. There's your phases of your moon. Now let's look at what these crescents here can do for us. Now we need to ask ourselves what those phases can do for us. Alright, whether the moon be here, 
or here. Okay, we have a waxing and a waning. We have an increasing and a decreasing. Either one works just fine for this method. Okay, you take and you draw a straight line from each point on the crescent. Okay, obviously it'll be imaginary in the night sky. That line's gonna end up right here, okay? That will point you due south. Do the same thing with this one. It's gonna point you due south, okay? Either one works, all right? So now there's another way we can find our direction. So we can find our direction on a full moon. We can find our direction on a crescent moon. What else can the moon offer us? All right, when the moon, it's either going to come out during the day when the sun is still out or it's going to come out at about midnight. Okay, when it comes out about midnight, it's going to face you due east. Okay, so when the light of the moon is lit up, came out at about midnight, the light of this moon, this face, is pointing east. All right, now that we looked at that, what about when the sun is setting, okay, the sun's setting over the horizon here, and the moon's out. So we have the moon and the sun. All right, this means that this light, when, this, when these two are out together, the light on this moon is pointing you due west, okay? So when you have two here, remember it's going to point you west. When you have one, it's going to point you east and you're using the face of the moon. Alright? Now those were pretty simple methods for using the moon to help you navigate. And it's just a couple little tips that I know. It, it works. I've tested it. And you can go out and test them yourself. Get started with that. And we'll move into other navigation with the compass and using maps and such down the road. But I wanted to start off with night navigation because I thought it was fairly easy. It's reliable because it's always there. Unless you got a cloudy night, obviously. The moon is quite useful, and I feel if you just learn a little bit about it, it's going to benefit you down the road and help put some more in your box of knowledge so you can uh, affect survivability much better. And finding, finding direction is never easy, and it's a, it's a hard skill to learn and a good skill to learn. And I, I wanted to show you night navigation first because it's one of those skills that a lot of people think is too scary and too hard to learn, but it's actually not that bad. So I hope that helped, and we'll get into star navigation next.